Today we have the question and answer session. Those who want to ask the question should raise their hands. Um, yesterday, Sachi said that um, uh, when we initiated all the accounts of our story karmas, the Sachi karmas, are torn up by the Master and the disciple doesn't have to worry about those. That debt is deleted, uh, wiped out. Um, I guess I'm what was curious. I thought there was some karmas we had to eliminate by meditating later in a higher plane as we progress in the higher plane. I'd like to know those aren't the, the stored karmas, they're other karmas. And the other thing is. Um, I was curious to know um, what the master has to um, do to wipe out those that account. Um, I know there's a story of King Janak that he liberated all the souls in hell with three rounds of simran, and I was wondering if it was like that or if he had a you know greater uh, price to pay. Mm -hmm. 
कल आपने ये कहा कि नामदान के समय हर जीव का जो संचित कर्मों का लेखा जोखा होता है वो गुरु अपने कब्जे में ले लेता है उसको गुरु ख़त्म कर देता है मेरे समझ में ये आया था कि जैसे जैसे हम तरक्की करते हैं अभ्यास के अंदर कुछ कर्म ऐसे भी होते हैं जो हमें ऊपरले मंडलों में जाकर के अभ्यास करने के बाद में ख़त्म करने होते हैं तो क्या वो कोई और कर्म होते हैं या वो संचित कर्मों में से ही कुछ हिस्सा होता है और दूसरी बात मैं ये जानना चाहता था कि किस तरीके से संचित कर्मों का जो लेखा जोखा होता है वो गुरु ख़त्म करता है क्या जिस मुझे वो कहानी याद है राजा जनक की जिस तरह से वो नरक में गए थे और तीन दफ़ा सिमरण करने से उन्होंने सारी आत्माओं को वहाँ से मुक्त कर दिया था क्या इस तरह से ही गुरु उन संचित कर्मों का जो खजाना होता है वो ख़त्म करता है या कोई और तरीका है जिससे कि गुरु कर्मों को ख़त्म करता है हाँ भाई <laughs> मैं खुशी है कि बड़ी यह गहराई वाली बात है और बड़ी सोचन वाली है हर एक दे फायदे वास्ते हो सकता है ऐसा सवाल होर भी कई के दिमाग अंदर घूमता हो आई एम वेरी ग्लैड दैट यू हैव आस्ट सच अ डीप क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग विच इज वर्थ पेइंग अटेंशन टू इट इज पॉसिबल दैट मेनी अदर डियर वंस मे आल्सो हैव अ सेम काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड इट इज गुड दैट यू हैव आस्ट दिस क्वेश्चन सब तो पहला ये सोचने की गल है सत्संगी जो अंदर जाते हैं वो इन भली पांत समझते हैं महाराज सावण का मैं कई दफा हवाला दसिया कि दुनिया कहती है कि असी संत पास जाने हैं लेकिन जब उस संत पास आके नामदान प्राप्त करते हैं उसनों कमाई करते हैं अंदर जाके खुद देखते हैं कि संत पास जाते सी या संत खिंचते और दूसरा जब तक वो अंदर उपरले मंडलों से नहीं जाते उन्ना चर वो कहें जी असी अभ्यास करते हैं असी भजन करते हैं जब उपर जाते हैं उन्होंने पता है कि साथों कोई भजन करा सू कोई उठा भी रहा सू कोई अंदरों उदम भी बख्श रहा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट दोज डियर वंस टू गो इन द विद इन दे नो हाउ ऑल दिस थिंग्स वर्क ऑफन आई हैव कोटेड मास्टर सावन सिंह जी ए यूज टू से दैट अनलैस वी गो इन द विद इन वी डू नॉट नो दैट हु इज डूइंग ऑल द थिंग्स अनटिल वी गो इन द विद इन वी मे थिंक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू द सत्संग और वी हैव कम टू द मास्टर फॉर रिसीविंग द इनिशिएशन और वी आर मेकिंग द एफर्ट्स इन फॉलोइंग द पाथ ऑफ द मास्टर्स but once we go in the within once we contact our beloved master in our within then we come to realize that it was not because of our efforts that we were coming to the satsang and it is not because of our own efforts that we got the initiation it was in fact the grace of the master who brought us to the satsang and who made possible for us to receive the initiation in the same way after receiving the initiation when we progress in the meditation until we have gone in the within and seen the beloved master with our own eyes we may say that we are doing the meditation we are making the efforts in progressing but when we go in the within then we come to realize that our efforts were of no use it was all the grace of the master which made it possible for us to do the meditation in fact he himself woke us up for the meditation he himself gave us the inspiration and the courage to sit in the meditation and he himself pulled us up and made it possible for us to achieve the progress in the meditation <coughs> मैं ये भी दसद हूँ है कि संत सतगुरु नामदान देने दे वक्त इस किस्म का साडे अंदर अरेंजमेंट करते हैं कि कुछ साडे कर्म भी कटते रहते हैं कुछ असी तरक्की भी करते रहने हैं कई ऐसे कर्म भी जिंदगी दे प्रलभ प्राप्त पैदा होंगे है उगते हैं वक्त पर आके जेडे के बर्दाश्त तो बाहर होंगे है जब असी भजन अभ्यास करते हैं तो उस वक्त भी तैयारी होंगे हैं ता कि आत्मा के अंदर ताकत आवे तो उसनों असी बर्दाश्त कर सकी एट द टाइम ऑफ द इनिशिएशन ऑफन आई सैट दैट द टाइम ऑफ द इनिशिएशन 
Sant Sat Gurus makes such a unique enter arrangement within us that uh, we pay off the karmas, the consequences of the karmas which we are supposed to suffer, our paralabd or the fate karmas. And side by side, along with paying off those karmas, we also go on progressing in the meditation. When we do the meditation, it is like preparing our soul for that time when we will have to face the consequences of our fate karmas or deal with the sufferings which is going to come according to our fate karmas. And that is why masters always say that we should meditate, because when we meditate, we are preparing our soul to face that difficult moment. I also know that when the world is standing, the world is standing, the world is standing, the world is standing, वक्त ते आके कटना कट दी है वो उस वेले असी चले आने हैं दुखी हुने हैं थवानू पता ही है कि वो कर्म बर्दाश्त तो बाहर हुंदे हैं ऐसे वक्तां दे विच बहुत सारे प्रेमी जेड़े अभ्यास नहीं कर दे हुंदे वो डोल भी जान्दे हैं खुशक भी हो जान्दे हैं लेकिन जो कमाई कर दे हैं वो इस राजनु समझ दे हैं � ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਸ਼ਿਕਾਇਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਕਿ ਜੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਇਹ ਦੁੱਖ ਦੂਰ ਕਰੋ ਬਲਕਿ ਉਹ ਭਾਣੇ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਮਜ਼ਬੂਤ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਕਸ਼ਟ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹਨੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਫਾਈ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਐਸੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਹੀ ਸਵਾਮੀ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੇ ਬਾਣੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਦੁੱਖ ਦੀ ਘੜੀ ਨੂੰ ਗਨੀਮਤ ਸਮਝੋ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸੁਖ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਮਨ ਗਾਫਲ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੁੱਖ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਇਹ ਨਰਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੁਣ ਅੰਦਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਵਕਤ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਉਠਾਓ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਹੁਣ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸੋਚ ਕੇ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਹਰ ਸੰਸੰਗੀ ਦਾ ਐਸਾ ਖਿਆਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾਗਾ ਮਾਮੂਲੀ ਜੀ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਤੋਂ ਘਬਰਾ ਕੇ ਬੇਨਤੀਆਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਅਰਦਾਸਾਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਉਹਦੀ ਉਹ ਜੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਤੇ ਮਦਦ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਆਫਨ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਵੈਨ ਦ ਸਟਾਰਮ ਕਮਸ ਈਵਨ ਦ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਟ੍ਰੀਜ਼ ਗੈਟ ਅਪਰੂਟਡ what to talk about the small plants or the weak trees in the same way when the wave of the karmas come in our life then many of the dear ones lose their faith <coughs> their faith is shaken and they may even leave the path <coughs> but those who do the meditation and those who go in the within they know that why that pain why that suffering has come <coughs> and they are also aware of the help they are receiving from their beloved master only they know that how once from one side as they are getting the pains and suffering how from the other side they are also getting the help from the master those dear ones who go in the within and do the meditation they also feel the pain and the sufferings when the wave of the karma has come but they do not complain they always remain happy in the will of the master because they know that how much their master has done for them and what kind of karmas are they which they are suffering in that moment the other dear ones those who do not do the meditation those who are not gone in the within those who are not realize that what master has done for them whenever they have to face such a condition such a situation they at once become dry they at once leave the master or their faith is shaken their faith is gone swami ji maharaj has said he has uh, described the condition of the dear ones who go in the within he has said that you should always understand the moment of the pain as the blessing because he knows that the dear ones who go in the within when they have to face such a moment they always understand it as a it as a blessing from the master because only in the moment of the pain we can remember our master in a much better way then we can remember him in the moment of the happiness that is why you see that not all the satsangis have the same kind of attitude only those who go in the within because they know the reality that what kind of karmas are finished by the masters master and what <coughs> kind of karma they are suffering now so those who have got that realization and that awareness of the karmas of the kind of the karmas they do not have any complaint and they always accept whatever comes in the will of the master happily lekin ye sab kuch samajh sanu andar ja ke aundi hai ਕਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਿਆ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਉਹਦਾ ਤਰੀਕਾ ਹੈ ਦਿਆ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਕਰਮ ਕੱਟਦਾ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਜਦ ਤੱਕ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਬੈਠੇ ਹਾਂ 
ਥੋੜਾ ਬਹੁਤਾ ਸੁਣ ਕੇ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਵੀ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਧੀਰ ਜੀ ਬੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਟਾਰਸ ਵੀ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਸਚਾਈ ਦਾ ਪਤਾ ਲਾਉਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸੰਤ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹੀ ਜ਼ੋਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਅੰਦਰ ਜਾਓ ਸਚਾਈ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਖੁਦ ਹੀ ਦੇਖੋ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਗੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਹਾਊ ਦ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਸ਼ਾਵਰਸ ਗ੍ਰੇਸ ਔਨ ਅਸ ਹਾਊ ਹੀ ਕਟਸ ਹਿਸ ਆਵਰ ਕਰਮਾ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਸ਼ਾਵਰਿੰਗ ਹਿਸ ਗ੍ਰੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਹੈਲਪਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਓਨਲੀ ਆਫਟਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਆਊਟਵਰਡਲੀ ਬਾਈ ਹੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਵੀ ਮੇ ਗੈਟ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਆਫ ਬਿਲੀਫ ਵੀ ਮੇ ਗੈਟ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਆਫ ਫੇਥ ਇਨ ਹਿਮ but masters always lay a lot of emphasis on going in the within because only after going in the within we can understand and accept the reality the truth that is why masters always say that go in the within and see everything with your own eyes main tohanu dasda hunna ke baba bishan das kol do shabad da phes si thalle wale dona mandala da unna da practical si o bade acche san jad unna ne daya drishti karke ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟੀਕਲ ਕਰਾਇਆ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਜਨਮ ਬਾਰੇ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਬਲਕਿ ਉਹ ਸਚਾਈ ਵਿਖਾਈ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਮਗਰੋਂ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੇਰਾ ਦੇਣਾ ਲੈਣਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਲਿਆਂਦਾ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਦਵਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਇਹ ਖਾਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਦਿਆ ਸੀ ਔਰ ਜਿਸ ਮਾਤਾ ਪਿਤਾ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੇਰਾ ਪਾਲਣ ਪੋਸ਼ਣ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਮਤਲਕ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਖੁਦ ਨੂੰ ਹੀ ਗਿਆਨ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਨ ਦਾਸ ਦੀ ਦਿਆ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਚਿਰ ਦੇਣਾ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਉਂ ਆਇਆ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਕੀ ਦੇਣਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਔਰ ਘਰ ਛੱਡਣ ਤੋਂ ਕਈ ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਕਿ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਰਬੰਧ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਚਿਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਘਰੇ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਬਾਅਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਮਾਲਕ ਦੀ ਯਾਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ you know that baba vishnu das had the secret had the knowledge of the two words and he was practically successful in those two words and he gave me the knowledge of the two words of the two lower planes and with his grace he himself made me practically successful in that he himself had made me realize he himself had made me realize my previous birth that where i was born and who were my parents and uh, he had also given me the signs about my previous birth and with his grace only i was able to know that what is my connection what is my give and take with my present parents the parents who brought me up who took care of me and he himself made me realize my give and take with the people the other people in the world and with his grace i was able to finish the give and take with them only because of his grace i was able to tell my parents that how long i was going to be with them and many years before i left my home i had told them that i will be leaving my home at that time so you see that it was all the grace of our bishan das by which i was able to know everything jab itna knowledge sirf dusri manzil wale mahatma nu ho sakda hai ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸੋਚ ਕੇ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਰਸਤਾ ਜੋ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਪੂਰਾ ਰਸਤਾ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਪੂਰੇ ਸੰਤ ਮਿਲੇ ਹੋਏ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਲਸ ਨਾ ਕਰੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਖੁਦ ਹੀ ਸੋਚ ਕੇ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਨੌਲੇਜ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਵੈਨ ਅ ਮਹਾਤਮਾ ਹੂ ਵਾਸ ਸਕਸੈਸਫੁਲ ਹੂ ਹੈਡ ਦ ਨੌਲੇਜ ਆਫ ਓਨਲੀ ਟੂ ਵਰਡਸ ਕੈਨ ਟੈਲ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਨੌਲੇਜ you can very well imagine that how much more knowledge can you have you can have because you are on the complete path you have the complete knowledge and uh, you can very well imagine if you would practice how much knowledge you can get how much realization and awareness you can achieve agar koi satsangi di itni chadhai hundi hai ya sant satguru jo hunde hai aise log sanjam vich rehnde hai ਤੀਰਜ ਅਨੁਸ਼ਾਸਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਕਮਾਲ ਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕੁਦਰਤ ਕਾਨੂੰਨ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਘਟਨਾ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਰੋਕਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਬੇਸ਼ੱਕ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਤੁਰ ਕੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਕੋਈ ਐਕਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਹੋ ਜਾਵੇ ਐਸੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਇਹ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਮੋਜੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿਖਾਉਂਦੇ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਐਸਾ ਘਟਨਾ ਰੋਕਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਕੁਦਰਤ ਕ
who know everything. They have so much patience and endurance in them that they do not perform any miracles. Even though they may know that just by walking few steps they are going to meet with an accident, but still they will not try to stop that because they do not do anything against the will of the nature. And uh, they do not perform any miracles. And even though they know everything, but still if it is according to the will of the nature and will of God, they will not try to change that will. Savan da naam leda ek sensi si sensi ante jaan da ude karwali kafi ladaki si vat to vat po parishan osnu kar di si aur savan de paas unna ne galli galli kite gall chalai ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਭਜਨ ਵਿਆਸ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨ ਦਿੰਦੀ ਕਦੇ ਕਦੇ ਡੰਡੇ ਵੀ ਮਾਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਸੈਂਸੀ ਅੱਛੀ ਕਮਾਈ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਕੋਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਮਾਈ ਕਰਕੇ ਸੰਤਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਰੋਹਾਨੀ ਸਵਾਲ ਪੁੱਛੀਏ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੀ ਮੌਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੇਵਕ ਨੂੰ ਕਦੇ ਕਦੇ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਉਹ ਦਿਆਮੇਰ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੈ ਇਸ਼ਾਰਾ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਵੀ ਦੇਖ ਪਿਆਰਿਆ ਤੂੰ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਜਨਮ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਕੌਣ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਇੱਕ ਗਦੀ ਦੀ ਜੂਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੀ ਤੂੰ ਇਧਰ ਉਧਰ ਫਿਰਦਾ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਧੋਬੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਪਾਸ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਔਰ ਇਹਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਟੂਈ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਉਚੜੀ ਹੋਈ ਸੀ ਜਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਲਾਗਾ ਵੀ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਔਰ ਤੂੰ ਜਦੋਂ ਦਰਖਤਾਂ ਤੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਨੇ ਚੁੰਝ ਆਪਦੀ ਗੰਦ ਚ ਮਾਰ ਕੇ ਸਾਫ਼ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਉਦੋਂ ਇਹਦੀ ਟੂਈ ਤੇ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਚੁੰਝ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਉਸ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਚ ਯਾ ਆਪ ਉਹਦੇ ਮੀਟ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਦ ਲਾਉਣ ਦੀ ਖਾਤਰ ਤੂੰ ਆ ਕੇ ਚੰਝਾ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਸੈ ਹੁਣ ਦੇਣਾ ਲੈਣਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਨੂੰ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਇਹ ਤੇਰੀ ਔਰਤ ਬਣੀ ਹੈ ਤੂੰ ਇਹਦਾ ਪਤੀ ਬਣਿਆ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਲੇਖਾ ਭਰਾਵਾ ਅਗਰ ਇਸੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਚ ਨਵੇੜ ਜਾਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਬੜਾ ਅੱਛਾ ਰਹੇਗਾ ਉਹ ਪ੍ਰੇਮੀ ਤਕਰੀਬਨ 15 ਕ ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਸੰਗਰਗੇ ਕੁਝ ਦਿਨ ਠਹਿਰਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਆਪਣਾ ਡੇਰਾ ਚੁੱਕ ਕੇ ਔਰ ਕਿਸੇ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਔਰਤ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਕਈ ਛੋਟੀਆਂ ਮਾਰੀਆਂ ਔਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਉਹਦੇ ਮੂੰਹ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਡੰਡਾ ਦੇ ਗਏ ਮੈਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਕੁਝ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਅਖੀਰ ਮੈਂ ਬੈਠ ਗਿਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਉਹ ਤੁਰੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਮਗਰੇ ਤੁਰ ਪਿਆ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਹਰ ਹੋਣ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਮਗਰ ਕਿਉਂ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਹਾਂ ਆਖਰ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਲੋਮੀਟਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਮਗਰ ਗਿਆ ਅਖੀਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਕਿ ਬੰਦਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਗਰ ਕਿਉਂ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਵੀ ਬੰਦੇ ਰੱਬ ਦੇ ਤੂੰ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਗਰ ਕਿਉਂ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਪੁੱਛਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਕੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਤਹਿਕੀਕਾਤ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਵੀ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਹੋ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਵੀ ਤੂੰ ਬੋਲਦਾ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਾ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਅਨਸਾਨੀਅਤ ਵਾਲੀ ਕੋਈ ਬਾਤ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੀ ਗਈ ਤੇਰੇ ਹਲਕ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਮੂੰਹ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਡੰਡਾ ਦਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਤੂੰ ਮੂੰਹ ਖੋਲ ਦੇਵੇਂ ਤੇ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਤੇ ਗਲਾ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਪਾੜ ਦੇਵੇ ਤੂੰ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਬੋਲਦਾ ਗਾ ਉਹ ਦੋਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬਿਠਾ ਲਿਆ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਤੂੰ ਸਿਆਣਾ ਬੈਠ ਜਾ ਉਹਨੇ ਗੱਲ ਦੱਸੀ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ 40 ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਵਣ ਸਿੰਘ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਤੋਂ ਨਾਮਦਾਨ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਬਿਥਿਆ ਸੁਣਾਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆ ਕਹਾਣੀ ਦੱਸੀ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੇ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਆਪ ਦਾ ਭਜਨ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਉਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਮੈਂ ਮੀਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਖਾਂਦਾ ਸ਼ਰਾਬ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੀਂਦਾ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਹਾਲਤ ਮੇਰੀ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਕਰੀਬਨ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ਼ ਹੀ ਥੋੜੀ ਬਹੁਤੀ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੂਜੇ ਤੀਜੇ ਦਿਨ ਤਾਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਕਰਮ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਪਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਦਿਲ ਲ
there was an initiator baba saman singh ji who was from a low caste he was a very good meditator but he his wife had a very bad temper she would always rebuke him and she would always go on fighting with him and sometimes she may even give him the beating and she was she was like that and he was very much upset at that he was a very nice man very good devoted dear one once he went to master saman singh ji and told him about his sufferings you know that if we do the meditation and after doing the work which our master has given to us if we go to the master and tell him about our sufferings about our pains sometimes masters do give us the hints they shower special grace on us and they give us the hint and they make us know that why we are going through that suffering and what is the cause of that pain so like that when he went to master saman singh ji and told him about the nature of his wife and how it was very difficult for him to live with her baba saman singh ji in his full glory and in his will told that dear one that dear one do you know that who you were in your past life you were a crow and uh, your wife was a she ass and uh, what you used to do she was owned by one um washerman and whenever that washerman would bring that ass near the place where you used to live you used to go and sit on her and she had a wound on her back and you used to put your beak into that wound and in that way you used to torture her and also sometimes whenever you wanted to clean your beak you should you would you used to go there and do that in that wound so in that way you have tortured her a lot you have given her so much pain and because your given take with her was not good in the past life that is why in this lifetime she has become your wife and you have become her husband and that is why now it is her turn to give you the same kind of torture because all the masters have said that whatever you have done in your past lifetime you have to suffer the consequences of that so now it is your karma it is better for you if you would finish that karma in this lifetime so that you may not have to come back into this world again and again so that dear one since he used to go in the within and he knew that how the laws of law of karma works and since he had the realization that that was his own karma that is why he lived with that karma and he suffered whatever came in the will of god and he never complained about 15 years ago i went to a town called sangriya and uh, i did not know that person but i saw that uh, there was a man and a woman and they were moving from that town so after they had done all that packing and stuff they were about to leave their home about to leave their place and i was watching them doing all the things and i was very surprised to see how his wife was treating him she would give him beating and after that all he would say nothing he would just patiently suffer whatever was coming and she would give him beating with the sticks and finally she put the big stick in the mouth of that person and he did not say even a word he patiently suffered he patiently bared all that and i was very surprised i did not i could not see i i did not understand that how on the earth can there be a person who has so much patience and endurance and i did not know the whole story before that so i thought well i should find about this person so i waited there and i saw them packing their stuff and after finishing their packing when they started moving i followed them about a mile i followed them and when they came to realize that somebody was following them they stopped and they asked me <coughs> that man of god why it is that you are following us what do you want to know from us and why you are following us so i told that man i said well i have never seen a person like you i do not know what is wrong with you what is going on between you and your wife but i am surprised to see that how much patience you have can you tell me that how you can do this he told me the whole story he told me that about 40 years ago when i was initiated by baba saman singh ji once i had asked him this question that why i have why my wife is like this and i had told him that it is very difficult for me to live with her and he had told me this thing the story and that is why now i know that it is my karma and i am bearing that i am suffering that i do not have any 
regrets because it is my own karmas which I am paying in this lifetime. I know that if I will not pay this karma at this time, in this lifetime, I may have to come back into this world again because whatever I have done in the past, I have to pay it. I have to suffer its consequences. So this thing which you have seen, it is nothing in comparison to what I have gone through in the beginning. This happens every day. If not every day, at least once in two or three days, I get similar kind of beating and sometimes it is even worse, but I do not have any complaints. I know that I have done even worse to her what she is doing, worse than what she is doing to me in this lifetime. So you see that those dear ones, those who go in the within and those who have complete faith in the Master, they know that what karmas of them, Master has <coughs> finished and what karmas they have to suffer. And that is why they do not have any complaints, they do not have any regrets. They lovingly and happily suffer the consequences of the karmas which they have done in their past lifetime, even though Master helps them a lot in understanding those karmas <coughs> and in paying off those karmas. Master Saman Singh Ji used to say that all the family members which we have now, all our friends, brothers, sisters and relatives, which are connected to us in this lifetime, they are connected as the result of our past connections with those souls. And the <coughs> souls with whom our give and take was good, our dealings were good in the past lifetime, <coughs> we have smooth and normal relation with them in this lifetime. But with those souls with whom our connection, our dealing were not good in the past lifetime, in this lifetime also we have difficulties with them. That is why you know that in the family you have good relations with some members and with some people you do not get along. So that is why Master Saman Singh Ji always used to say that when we do the meditation and go in the within, only then we can come to know that what kind of karmas we are paying and what Master has done in removing our karmas. <coughs> Mr. Ubrai Di Katavandar, Aap Sab Ne Sundar Das Di Kahani Padhi Hoye Di O 20 Saal Mere Paas Reha O Mara Saavn Singh Da Khash Piyara Si Kaafi Vakat Ona De Paas Reha Ke Seva Karda Reha Or <coughs> ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਮੌਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੇਰੀ ਵਾਈਫ ਇਸ ਸੰਸਾਰ ਛੱਡ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਤੇਰਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਜਵਾਨ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਸੰਸਾਰ ਛੱਡ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਲੜਕੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਤੇਰਾ ਦਿਮਾਗ ਖਰਾਬ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਕਤਲ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਤੂੰ ਉਹ ਡੰਡ ਭੁਗਤ ਲਈ बेशक तैनु कोई छडावे ही सुंदरदास दी राजे फरीद कोठिए ना अच्छी मेल मुलाकात सी उस नु सारी कहानी दा पता सीगा के बाबे दा दिमाग ठीक नहीं सीगा अपसेट सी घर अंदर बहुत कुछ गुजर चुकया है लेकिन सुंदरदास बिल्कुल मुकरया नहीं बल्कि जज नु कहन लगया भई देख जद मैं कीता है ਤੂੰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਜ਼ਾ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇਵ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਸਜ਼ਾ 20 ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਤੂੰ ਕਰ 6 ਸਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਕੱਟੂਗਾ ਆਖਰ ਹਿੰਦੁਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ 20 ਸਾਲੇ ਕੈਦੀ ਛੱਡੇ ਸਨ ਜਦ ਹਿੰਦੁਸਤਾਨ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਆਜ਼ਾਦ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਉਦੋਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ 6 ਸਾਲ ਹੋਏ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹ ਆਪਦੇ ਕੱਟ ਕੇ ਆਇਆ ਸੀ ਜਦ ਇਹ ਘਟਨਾ ਸਾਵਨ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਬਤਾਈ ਸੀ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਸੁੰਦਰਦਾਸ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਈ ਸੀ ਸੁੰਦਰਦਾਸ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਕਰਾਉਣੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਘਟਨਾ ਦਾ ਗਿਆਨ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੋ ਹੱਸ ਕੇ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਸੁੰਦਰਦਾਸ ਦੱਸਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਜੀ ਹਾਲ ਆਪਾਂ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਾਉਂਦੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਐਸਾ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਇਸ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੇ ਹਾਲਾਤ ਬਣ ਗਏ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਵਾਲਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਕਿਹਾ ਵੀ ਜਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਖੂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੈਨੇ ਹੈ ਪੰਜ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਸਨ ਜਾਂ ਤੂੰ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਕਰਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਕਰਾਉਣੀ ਪਈ ਔਰ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਘਟਨਾ ਘਟੀਆਂ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਔਰ ਕਿਉਂ ਉਹ ਡੋਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਸ ਪਾਣੇ ਨੂੰ ਮਿੱਠਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੰਨਿਆ ਆਖਰੀ ਵਕਤ ਤੱਕ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਘਟਨਾ ਦਾ ਗਿਆਨ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਅੱਖੀਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਹਾਲ ਜੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੀ ਉਸ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਕਰਦੀ ਦੀ ਲੱਤ ਸੜ ਗਈ ਸੀਗੀ ਵੱਧ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਸੀ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਉਹਦੇ 8 ਘੰਟੇ ਦੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਬ
ਉਹਨੇ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਕਿ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਅੱਜ ਰਸ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਅੰਦਰ ਆਇਆ ਹੈ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਭਰ ਚ ਕਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਏਗਾ ਔਰ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਉਸ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਸੁੰਦਰਦਾਸ ਦਾ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਬਿਆਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਸੰਗੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਹਜ਼ੂਰ ਕਰਪਾਲ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੰਦਰ ਦੇ ਉਹਨੇ ਨਜ਼ਾਰੇ ਦੱਸੇ ਹੈ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਬੁੱਕ ਆਫ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਬੁੱਕ ਆਫ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਓਬਰ ਆਇ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਆਫ ਸੁੰਦਰਦਾਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਨੀਸ਼ੀਏਟਰ ਬਾਬਾ ਸਾਵਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੈਸ ਇਸ ਰਿਟਨ ਯੂ نو ਦੈਟ ਸੁੰਦਰਦਾਸ ਵਾਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਵੋਟਿਡ ਇਨੀਸ਼ੀਏਟਰ ਆਫ ਬਾਬਾ ਸਾਵਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਲਿਵਡ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਫਾਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਇਅਰਸ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਬਾਬਾ ਸਾਵਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਹੂ ਵਾਂਸ ਵੈਨ ਹੀ ਕੇਮ ਇਨ ਹਿਸ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਡ ਟੋਲਡ ਸੁੰਦਰਦਾਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਿਸ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਟ ਵਾਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਹੈਪਨ ਇਨ ਹਿਸ ਫਿਊਚਰ baba saman singh had told sundardas that uh, <coughs> his wife will get killed his wife will die and his son and daughter will also get killed <coughs> this will upset his mind he will go crazy and in that madness he will kill somebody as a result he will be taken in the prison and over there he should confess what he has done even though people will try to help him but still he should not accept anyone's help and he should go through the trial and he should accept the uh punishment and he will be sentenced to the jail for 20 years of imprisonment imprisonment but he should not worry he should have faith in the master since he will be staying in the prison only for 6 years and after that he will be released it is a very interesting thing that when baba saavn singh ji had told sundardas all this what was going to happen in his future at that time sundardas was not even married so but since he used to do a lot of meditation he was going in the within he was very close he was very devoted to baba saavn singh he took everything whatever master saavn singh said as the true because he had a lot of faith in the master when he came to know about his future he thought that well i will not get married when i don't get married then i will not have children and all this thing will not happen but the circumstances were such the circumstances happened such in his life that he had to get married what happened was that when his family members when his family was telling him to get married since he knew all about his future and he didn't want all that to happen he said that i don't want to get married but they said that either you get married or all of us will jump into the well and commit suicide there were five people in his family and they all wanted to commit suicide if sundardas was not getting if sundardas had not agreed to get married so that is why he gave in to them and he got married after that as baba saavn singh had said everything happened he had a daughter and a son and first his wife left the body and then his son in his prime youth was killed his daughter was also killed and this upset this made him crazy and in that craziness he killed someone and when he was brought to the uh, judge king of farid court was very good friend of sundardas and he knew that at the time he has committed that murder he has done the murder he was not in his senses so he was trying to help him and he told the magistrate the judge that this old man this baba was not in his senses and he should be given the forgiveness but sundardas because baba saavn singh had said that he should not accept anyone's help he said that no i am not crazy when i have done this murder why don't you give me the punishment so according to that since he had himself confessed he was given the imprisonment for 20 years but when nine but in 1947 when india and pakistan were formed they had released the prisoners who were in the jail who were sentenced for 20 years of imprisonment and uh, sundardas was one of them when he got released from the jail he had been in the jail exactly for 6 years and after that he came and he lived with me he was so much devoted to the master he always remained faithful to the master even though so much happened in his life all the things which happened in his life life even made him crazy but still he did not lose his faith in the master because he used to go in the within he used to meditate and he knew <coughs> that all what is happening in his life is according to his own karmas and he himself has to pay those and he knew that how much master saavn singh is helping him often i have told you that how he used to sit with me for the meditation we had the sitting of 8 hours at a stretch and once when we were sitting for the meditation 
his leg got burned and he did not remain aware of that. When he got up from that meditation with his leg burned, he said that today I have got such an intoxication in the meditation which I did not get in my whole life. He was not aware of his burnt leg. And you also know, if you have read that book, that the interview which he had with Master Kripal Singhji, that how Master Kripal Singhji graciously took him inside and how he was made to tell people the things which he has seen in his within. So I mean to say that those who do the meditation, those who go in the within, they always remain devoted to the Master. Their faith never gets shaken off. They never lose their faith in the Master because they know that how the grace of the Master works, how the Master works as far as the payment of our karmas is concerned. I am a saint of the magazine. पढ़ने वास्ते प्रेमी अनु कहना हमने क्योंकि वो दे अंदर ऐसे बहुत संसार की शब्द चुके हैं सवाल जवाब भी शब्द चुके हैं और मैं काफी कुछ अमेरिका जो पिछले टूर दे गया है संतबानी विच अंदर ले मंडरान बयान की ताजी का छोटा छोटा करके कि किस तरह वो उस दिन दिया तो बगैर ऐसी संसार की चीनी आ सकते सी नाम ही नही किस तरह गुरु नाल हुंदा है ऐसे कर्म वो नामदान दे वक्त कटदा है जेड़े के सानु अंदर जान विच बादा डाल दे हम फिर जिस तरह ऐसी तरक्की कर दे जाने हैं क्योंकि जिदो ऐसी आपने ख्याल नो तीसरे तिलते आकागर कर दे हैं सानु जिस गुरु ने नाम देता है शब्द रूप वो साथो पहला ऐसे खड़ा हुंदा है जिमें जिमें ऐसी ऊपर ले मंडलाएं जाने हैं ओमे ओमे उस आदि आत्मनु कर्मा देखो जेतो हल्की करता जाना है। I always inspire the dear ones to read the Sandbani magazine because a lot of satsangs and talks and question answers like this have been published in the magazine and many things, many subjects are touched and you can find a lot of things by reading the magazine. Last time when I went to America. I had given many talks regarding the inner planes and I had tried to explain how the things work in the inner planes. I had given brief talks about that. I had also said that uh, at the time of the initiation, how master finishes of those karmas, which can be an impediment, which can be an obstacle for us in our way of going in the within. And when we bring our attention at the eye center, we see that our master who has given us the initiation is present there even before we get there and how he helps us to go in the within and as we go on progressing in the meditation how he along with our progress in the meditation helps us to pay off our karma I have a lot of that how much time and time and time to stay in the world to stay in the world क्योंकि उसे संचित कर्मादा जो खजाना होता है, वो जमा होता है, उसे साढे आत्मा साफ हो जाती है, जिस तरह थ्रेसर दे अंदर आपा कणक निकाल दे हैं, तुड़ी एक पासे हो जाती है, दाने एक पासे हो जाती है, इससे तरह बुरे कर्मादा सर आत्मा तो उतर जाता है और साढी आत्मा I had even said that when we do our meditation and progress in the meditation and go to the Trikuti, the place where the uh, store of our Sanchit Karmas uh, was, at that, at that place also <coughs> we are made to meditate a lot if we are not purified enough because the effect which our soul has of the bad karmas can be removed only after doing a lot of meditation. And only by becoming completely pure, our soul can go to the causal plane, which is beyond the Triputi. Asi andarle mandalande bilkul navaak wo hune hai. Agar guru saath sandna hoon, asi kadam bhi andar nii jaa sak dege. E, kain di baat nii, bian nii esnu karya jaa sak da. Jimhe jimhe asi suksham, maha suksham hunde uparle mandalande jane hai. Khudi asi akhande naal. देख दे जाने हैं जब तक किसी सच खंडे विच पहुंच नहीं जाने जित्थे उनके साड़ी आत्मा शुरू जो आई है संत कदे भी साड़ा साथ नहीं छड़ देगे और उठे भी उस माल के परमात्मा देगे ये सातमानु खड़ी करके यही कहने हैं परमात्मा के रदास कर दे हैं कि ये तेरा जीव है तो लगे आसिगा माफी लेने वास्ते आया है। 
Master always helps us. He is always with us. With, he is always with us. Every single step we take in our inner journey, He is with us. He always guides and helps us. We cannot take even one step without the help and the guidance of the Master. He is always with us in our within. And uh, as we go on progressing in the meditation, as we go from the astral to the causal plane, as we go on uh, progressing in the meditation, we go on realizing that how great the help of the Master is and how much Master is doing for us. And uh, Master takes us from plane after plane and He takes us to such kind of a real home. Even after reaching such kind, He does not leave us. He makes us stand in front of Almighty Lord and He requests Almighty Lord on our behalf. He says that He is your child. He had forgotten your home and now He has come back for asking forgiveness from you and you should forgive Him. So I mean to say that Masters always help the disciple in the inner planes, in the inner journey. When we go in the within, we cannot take even one step without them. And before we reach there, they are already there to help us and they take us, they guide us on every single step we take in the inner journey. Swami Ji Maharaj Ji said that if you want to be alive, you want to be able to do this, 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 but you want to be able to do this, you want to be able to do this. Swami Ji Maharaj had said that if you want to see everything while you are living, if you want to do practical of all the things which you are being, which you are taught or which you are told. It is your courage, it is your efforts. You are great if you have the desire of doing that. But the very important thing, the first thing, in order to go in the within, which you need to do, is that you should understand and accept the grace of the Master. Arjapa Sangat Devich, Aapo apne kamai de mataav ke parosha bani baithe hain, sharda banai baithe hain, jinna di jade kamai hai, उना दी जादे शर्दा बन जन्दी है क्योंकि वो थोड़ी बहुती सच्चाई नू देख दे रहें दे है और उससे अत्वार ले उन दे रहें दे है वो नुकस मैं दस दान ना है कि सच खंड पहुंच के भी गुरुजी नुकस निकट दे बल्कि उसे जाके रिनी हो जान्दे है सच्चाई दा ज्ञान हो जान्दा है जिन्ना जिकर सी बाहर बैठे हैं � the faith in the Master according to our meditation we have done. Those who have done more meditation, those who are going in the within, they have more faith in the Master. Those who have not done a lot of meditation, they do not have enough faith in the Master. Those who have enough faith, those who have a lot of faith in the Master, those who do the meditation, they do not find faults in the Master even after reaching such kind. In fact, they become indebted to the Master after reaching the such kind. But those who have not done a lot of meditation, they easily find faults in the master if anything goes wrong. Yare, mera inna kuch to anu dasanda ei paav hai ke sab santey bitonde gaye ke sansar karam pumi hai aur karam pogan vaste hi sanuve shreer milda hai aur is devich baith ke si apne chenge aur maade karm hi pog rahe hain. Dear ones, by saying all this, I mean to say only this: as all the Mahatmas have said that this world is the land of karmas. This is the place where we have to pay off our karmas. We have been given this human body only to enjoy the rewards of the good karmas and suffer the consequences of the bad karmas. And uh, only in this lifetime, only in this birth, can we square off our karmas. Gita Dendar Krishan ne Arjanu bataya si के ना चंगे कर्म दे दे बंदरा तो छुड़ा सक दे है ना मारे ही छुड़ा सक दे है मारे कर्म उन्होंने लोहे दिया बेड़ियां दसिया और चंगे कर्म सोने दिया बेड़ियां करके बयान कीता है बेड़ी वो कहने आखर बेड़ी हिंदी है सो मुक्ति नाम विच है इन गीता लॉर्ड कृष्णा है टोल अर्जुना दैट नीदर अवर गुड क on this body, nor our bad karmas can help us in getting the liberation. He said that good karmas are like the gold chains and the bad karmas are like the iron chains. 
neither our good karmas nor our bad karmas can help us get the liberation the liberation is in the meditation of now guru nanak kende hai dadda dosh na dije kahu dosh karma apnea jo main kita so main paya dosh na dije avrajna guru nanak saab says that oh brother do not blame anyone for the sufferings you are getting whatever i have done i suffer the consequence of that i am the one who is to be blamed so sanu vi chahida hai ke assi sharda pyar de naal dasse hoye santan de raste de mutabik jugti de mutabik kamai kariye andar jaiye taan ki is karma di qaid cho assi jinde ji upar uthiye aur satguru diyan khushiyan prapt kariye so we should also lovingly do our meditation according to the instructions of the master go in the within so that we may become free from this imprisonment of the karmas and gain the pleasure of the master put chat pe aao ha sat pachi